Hi there. I've had a few queries online about using the summed input um, on multi weed boards, so I thought I'd do a very quick video on how to actually make that work and what it can do for you. Um, first thing I'm going to do is look at the hardware side of it. Uh, this, of course, will work with any multi weed board, but I'm going to use the Paris as my normal example. So, what I have here is an FR Sky TFR4 receiver. Now, this is Futaba compatible. Um, or obviously FR Sky radio will work or an FR Sky module in a module based radio will work. And the reason I use this is it appears to be just a four channel receiver but um, it has a cool feature in that it gets supplied with one of these little jumper pins and if you plug this that into the signal channels uh, the signal pins of channels 3 and 4 like so, alright, so you can see there, it's a bit tricky to see, I've now put that link in on output 3 and 4. Now, what that has instantly done just by doing that is made channel 1 a summed output. So basically what you're getting is all the channels that your radio can transmit to this can now come out on that one channel. The second set of pinouts, channel 2, is an RSSI output or a radio signal strength indicator output uh, which you may be able to use with your on-screen display module some will some won't use it so having done that I have my wiring loom from my Paris board and normally if I had a full receiver of some description uh, this is the one I happen to have lying around um, I would plug all these leads into the various channels for my various outputs, but with the summed input, all I have to do is take the th what was the throttle channel. It's the only lead in this loom that is the full three-pin loom, but anyway, it's the throttle channel. If you've got a different board, you might have multiple three-pin looms. And I just plug that into channel one, like so. And that's it, that's the complete, that's all I have to do connection-wise. The throttle channel into channel 1, which is now, because I've put this little jumper in, a summed output. And that is the wiring I need to do. That obvi This obviously has to plug in the Paris board, fit it to the airframe, and I'll come back in a second and show you uh, on screen what I need to do to now make this work. But that, from a wiring point of view, and a hardware point of view, is all you need to do. Okay, so our next step is... Uh, the software, we need to go into Arduino and open up our sketch file. Preferably this is a sketch file for your existing um, airframe. If not, this is a blank that we're going to start from. So if it was a blank that we would start from, we'd need to go through and make sure all of the settings were uh, correct for your airframe controller type and stuff. I'm not going to go through all that. Uh, assuming this is the correct sketch file, we're just going to go straight down to this section. RC system setup, and all we're going to do is find the line that says Fataba, because that's the radio I'm using. If you're using a different radio, you'd have to pick a different line and uncomment that. And that's it. Uh, all we need to do now is upload that into our control board, and the summed input is now um, enabled. Um, if you're not coming from version 2.2, or if you've got an older version already on the airframe, do an EEPROM clear before you load this, but if you're already on version 2.2, I just tend to load the software directly. Okay, having connected our, um, loaded, sorry, our software, we now um, open up the, the GUI, select our port, wait for the count of five, hit start, and now, if we look over here at the radio section, I have, aux 1 on a switch, I have aux 2 working on another switch, I have aux 3 working on just a two-way switch, and aux 4 working on a three-way switch. Um, you could of course have aux, all of those on three-way switches or two-way switches, it's entirely up to you, that's just um, how I like to use, that's how I like the switches to work in flight, so that's how I've got them set. Um, so. Nice and easy.
so it really is that simple. So it's just um, wire up the, I'll just disconnect this so the beeping stops, wire up the uh, receiver, uh, uncomment one line of code, and it all works. Now what you need to do is you need to just select what options you want to operate on what switch and away you go. For instance in high position on AUX3 I might want to have the mag sensor working. Uh, click on right when you're done and that's it. See you guys online. Bye.